welcome once again in cool it help in this tutorial we are going to unzip a zip file from command line by using 7zip software basically a need arises like with the help of 7zip we need to extract a zip file but we don't want to use the gui so in that case command line option is most suitable so we are going to do the same thing here in this tutorial session so i have added few additional things which are relevant and useful if you want to work with the command line version of 7zip so let's see what are these things so here we are going to discuss about the two scenarios scenario one in case you have installed the 7zip version you have used the installer and you have installed 7-zip on your system. So this is the first scenario means already you have a 7-zip on your system. In the second scenario, we are going to use the command line version of the 7-zip software. You can say this is the executable or portable or this is convenient thing and very small file let's do it together it's very simple thing and we need to simply run a single command in the command line also if you want to write some script and you want to call uh, through the bad file you can create a bad file and just write this simple command 7z space x after that the source file path means the zip file path full path okay after that we have hyphen o and immediate after the o we have to give the target folder path in which we want to extract our source zip file let's do it it in the scenario one so we are going to use the installed 7 zip version of our system in first scenario these three things uh we required first you have to uh search and find out the installed location of the 7-zip source file location and target file location so i have made an arrangement here to show you the demo this is a folder in which i have created a sample zip folder that is simple zip folder which has only three files if you have a real-time scenario you have a very big folder in which we have some nested folder so this method will work on all kind of zip files okay so this is our sample dot zip file and now this is the location of the installed 7 zip so basically you can see inside the program files you have a 7 zip folder when you go inside you will find all these files here the program we are targeting which is 7 z dot exe okay at the same place i have opened this command prompt so i'm showing you how we can write this command here in the command prompt so this is the command prompt and i have just typed 7z space x after that the target zip file name so here's the target zip file path after that space hyphen o then we need the target path for the file extraction so i am using the same folder this time and not creating any other separate folder so we will get our file extracted here in the demo folder okay once command is ready press enter and you can see on the command line this three files extracted right adjacent to my zip file because we have not given any uh, command or the f uh, folder name in which we want to extract now let's see quickly the second uh, way in which we will extract all those files in the folder so the same command i have used now the additional thing you have to append the output folder path in the target path so a new folder will be created for you and file will be extracted only inside this folder see this so command is very straightforward just you have to remember 
you need a source file path and the target folder location so i'm deleting all these files uh, from this place for our next example i will run the uh, a second scenario so we will use the same setup for that now let's look into the second scenario the sec in the second scenario we have one important uh, software we call it command line version of the 7zip software you can separately down it, download it from the 7zip uh, official website this is the link given if you open this link in your browser you will reach at this place when you scroll down little bit on this page you will find the version 9.20 and here we have the specific version uh, and I'm using this thing because this works perfectly the 7-zip command line version in front of this we have this download link button just click on it to download the 7-zip portable and this type of file will be downloaded on your system please keep this file somewhere in the folder from which you want to run okay so I have uh, pasted here in the folder now I will extract this 7-zip okay so we got these files the first one is the complete and rest of these three have no use we have the license agreement so you can open this license.txt and you can read it but in my case I'm deleting this thing to avoid the unnecessary confusions so now we got the 7z.exe which is self-sufficient we this can perform our unzip task easily now I will show you so the folder in which this ex is present open the command prompt or oh, you can open the command prompt uh, directly and just go to uh, at this directory in which we have this 7za.exe so I have shown you the shortcut way simply go to the folder in the address bar just type this cmd.exe and this will open here now the last thing we are uh, going to write the command that is simple now come to this command prompt 7za now this time the uh, the exe name is 7za space x space the source file name means the source file path uh, which is zip file after that we have hyphen o then we have a target folder okay this way when you press enter you will see the zip file is extracted and you got all the files now in this second scenario we can extract our files in the folder just up and up folder name so folder will be created if it is not present so this will be created and the file will be extracted only inside your given folder so friends we have these two ways to extract a zip file uh, from the 7-zip software by using a command prompt and if uh, in case you don't want to uh, launch the command prompt from in a manual way so you can simply write a bat file and just write this command inside the bat file and just launch the bat file or uh, the best way is that if you're creating the bat file you can call it through the another program and I hope you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool IT help